Continuing with the works model, wisdom, operations, rest, knowledge, and skills. We are on rest. <laughs> I had to look at my notes. So rest, I have to confess, all of my adult life, I have been, well, really, all my life, I was like this as a child. I think it crescendoed in high school, overachieving, uh, doing way too much all the time, doing the most. <laughs> but I have always, I've always had people asking me, when do you rest? And I just remember being so frustrated by that question because I was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't need no rest. Like, I love what I'm doing. I've always loved creating. I've always been an artist. I've always had this entrepreneurial spirit. I've always been a builder. There's a problem. I'm going to do everything I can to, to solve it. There's a resource. I'm going to wear it out. And I'm going to share it with other people. I want to help. I want to, you know, I want to train. I want to publish, communicate. That's always been my MO. So when people would ask me, when do you rest? I just was perplexed. I was like, what do you mean? I love what I'm doing. I really have always enjoyed my work. Um, I've just really been blessed to be able to just do the stuff, do stuff I love. And I'm constantly learning. So why, what do I need rest for? Right? That was the question, always. And I would really ignore it. But let me tell you something. I got a revelation probably a few years ago, at least five, between five and seven years ago, I got the revelation that rest is a celebration of creation. Rest is a celebration of work. When God, the scripture says God rested from all his work. And, and he said, it is good. He looked at what he had made and he said, it is good. He looked at you and me and said, it is good. So that was the beginning of the shift in my perspective about rest, I think that was the gentlest way that God could get me to look at it a different way. So fast forward to 2023, when I became a caregiver. And I, I, I volunteered to come because I wanted my husband, I did not want my husband to worry about his mother who was she was 98 at the time and uh, he had to go home. So I decided I would switch and that we would, I thought every couple of months we would switch it up, but um, we needed me to stay longer. He, you know, called me at one point and said, just before it was time for me to come home, he called me and said, I need you to stay there indefinitely. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I wasn't that happy about it, but um, I mean, I wasn't that peppy by saying, okay, but I was like, okay, I, kn I knew that there was some serious issues going on that he had to deal with. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I'll do it. What I was not prepared for, becoming a caregiver. I am the military child. I am the giver, I mean, the mover, the, the doer, the chameleon, the generalist. Uh, I'm, I, I grew up not going to one school more than two years at a time it's just in my DNA. I'm totally prepared to move. And it just, so it was never a hesitation. But baby, when I tell you, the shock to my whole system and my whole being was caregiving. But I think it, caregiving is the gift that has changed everything and for the better. And I couldn't see it back then. I couldn't see it in January, February, well, probably February, March, February, March, April. Mm-hmm dark, dark days. I couldn't see it then. And, but of course now looking back, I'm like, oh, this was it. This is what God needed to do. He needed to isolate me. He needed to help me to focus. So, and I say all that because I want you to understand that caregiving made rest a focus for me. Rest as a revelation, not just rest as a self-care, you know, trend right? It's a new phrase as something fun to do. Caregiving made rest an imperative. And so rest has become 
something that I do. Um, well, it, it, even my notes, I can I can get, share with you these notes because they are part of my whole being. Like I fully understand what I am saying. <laughs> now, I mean, hopefully I can communicate it as effectively so that you understand for yourself. But I just need you to know that I am not just reading words on a piece of paper, that I am living this from a very deep revelatory place. And, and, and is still deeply in love with work. I love work. Work is one of my favorite words. I work helps you understand who you are. Work is how, because even miracles need to be worked. Scripture talks about the working of miracles. So work is part of our lives. It's a part of who, how God designed us. It's part of our divine DNA is work. And the blessing of God gives us the opportunity to enjoy our work. So when you, you, you know, you can have a job that does not align with the work you have been called to do, and that job can be a burden and, and miserable, anxious toil. But work, your true life's work, is the thing that will that is setting you on fire. It's the thing that gives you the energy and the strength and the desire to get up every day. But no matter what that is, even when you're doing it, exhaustion will set in if you stay only in work mode, work, work, work. That that's where burnout happens, but burnout comes from a lack of rest, but but divine rest. And so let me explain what that is. So rest gives you energy, focus, and overall well being. Like it is well with my soul when I rest. And I made a decision. Well, I knew when I got here. I'm in San Francisco for that reason. So I knew when I got to San Francisco that I needed to get out of the house. And, you know, and my husband had even said to me, you need to go walk around the block every day, you know, which takes like five, 10 minutes, 10 minutes max if I'd stroll. And I started doing it, but I, I just didn't stick with it. So I basically spent a year in the house, in a room, right, with uh, a senior citizen. By myself now my husband has been here he's you know months uh, at a time but for the most part I was it and I had one break one seven day break in 2023 and I spent most of my time in this house in my husband's childhood bedroom um, with mom and I she's a delight I'm like if I if you got to do it she has the best temperament and everything and she's mobile and capable. She just needs help. She just needs someone here. She can't, she's grown, grown to the place where she just needs someone around. And, um, you know, and it's just, it's just my husband. He's a, he's a, the last child. But anyway, all of that, just all of that to say, I spent way, way too much time inside. I would go out to run errands, but short, you know, short, I, I never felt comfortable being gone more than two hours at a time. So I, so that was it. But let me explain to you. I also tell you about that because I want you to understand the depth of the revelation that I have gotten regarding rest. And I thought that I was okay. I went through cycles. You know, at first it was like, oh my God, I got to get out of this house. And then it was like, eh, I'll, going out to the grocery store was fine. And I come back in and that was enough. And then it was like, oh, I don't need to go. I can just, I can chill. I'm good. But n those were nice cycles to go through. But the reality is what I've discovered. So I started, I would say three, four months ago. <laughs> I started, that's me thinking, <laughs> the shoulder action. I don't know why I did that. But three or four months ago, I decided for real that I would get up and get out of the house every day. And I actually signed up for one of those um, exercise weight loss apps, got a fitness band, and just started making that program and its daily goals my mandate. I made myself go out every day and go do that. And I... 
I figured out in the schedule, in the day, how I could fit that in and just made it a priority. And let me tell you, that changed my whole world. So when I say rest increases your energy, your focus, and your overall well-being, I'm living, breathing proof. When I tell you my whole attitude, everything shifted. All of a sudden, I thought San Francisco was beautiful. I was excited about being here. I was learning about the spirit of the city. I had heard things before, but me physically just getting up, going out, making myself walk, seeing the sun, being outside, watching people at the park. Um, I started doing these lives when I started, you know, I was on my walks. I, I had been doing the walks before, but I, going out on my walks, everything was such a motivating, it was just so motivating to get up and go do that and uh, changed everything. Now, prior to that, my self-care was just really doing everything I could to improve and control my own environment and to be engaged with and surrounded by things that I loved that just made brought me joy. Okay, that was the first part. But this other level of rest was me making a determination that I would get out and go outside and that shifted everything. So then the other thing about rest that I want you to know is rest allows you to clear your mind, to reflect on your progress and to prepare for the next steps. Again, I love to work. I love it. I enjoy creating and learning. It's just a part of who I am. I get so much out of it. But when I also prioritize rest, then it allows me just really to clear my mind. It could be something as simple as I'm just playing a word game on my phone. And, you know, you can work at that thing so long and so hard that you cannot see anything in those letters and you can't figure out one more and more word. And I'm always amazed that when I just, you know, absentmindedly put the game down and then one day, two days, however many days I come back to it by accident, you know, not even intentionally planning to do it, go back and I go play and I look at that same set of letters all of a sudden, I'm going, oh, and I just boom, 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 boom. I, got, I, I figure out new words without even uh, missing a beat. That is because I allowed myself to rest. And that's just a simple, small example. I rested. I took a break from that particular endeavor at the time. And when I came back to it, my brain was clearer. And you are going to find that as well. But you've got to find the thing, the things that all allow you to truly rest, that really refresh you, that re replenish you, that give you energy, renewed energy, so that when you come back to the work, we're not abandoning work forever. It's we're going to just take a step away, rest, celebrate the work we've done, think about our progress, and then prepare for the next step so we can move on uh, to the next stage of the work. Okay. Um, so you got to determine what promotes mental clarity for you. What helps you just kind of get back on? And I love this part. Rest is a celebration of work and progress. It's not a just a break from it. So I can take a break from work and go binge on Netflix. But binging on Netflix is not really bringing me more mental clarity. It, it you know, is it's, it's it's literally doing those things that refresh you, replenish you, that re-energize you. That's different than just taking a break. You know, I can step away from my computer, go do something else, come back. That's not necessarily rest. And for me, rest has become really forcing myself to get outside and go walk. And then every once in a while, I'll do I'll run intervals using my, my C to 5K app. But that ha has become proven to be real rest. And I'll tell you that it's real rest. So how I know is that it has become such a part of my life that when I don't do it, I feel it physically. Before, I was used to working, 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 working to the point where I was stressed, but I didn't recognize I was stressed because I was living under it so long and so often it had become a part of my being. So when a trainer or a doctor or somebody would say, are you stressed? I'd be like, no, of course I'm not. 
right? I'm like, no, no, I'm not stressed at all, <laughs> right? But now, literally, if I don't drink enough water, just one day or half of a day, I feel it. If I don't, if I don't sleep enough, I feel it. I recognize, oh, I'm tired. I, I really need to make sure I get to bed on time and sleep well, right? I, it, it's just, it's been beautiful. So really, work, 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 work increases your stress and increase it, it, it helps you, you know, it causes diseases and, and just um, physically impacts you in such a negative way when you do not rest. But work is not supposed to be anxious toil. We're supposed to gain, get joy from the work that we do. So again, the works model is wisdom, operations, rest, knowledge, and skills. Five, you know, a, a five-step model. And this today, I wanted, I just wanted to talk to you about rest as a celebration of creation, a celebration of work and progress and not just a break, okay? You want to find that thing, find the things how you rest. For me, it has to do with art and beauty and, and color and music. I mean, I will get, I'll get a one song. I'll find a new one song and put that in my head. It's over. It changes my world, changes everything find lyrics that mean something to me that replenishes me that is rest so but i could sit and you know scroll through social media forever forever ever that might be a break but that's not rest that's not replenishing me ultimately unless i'm crying and laughing with strangers which i do a lot okay but that's all i got for today thank you so much for joining me